Excellent, and welcome to Tad Summer Innovators. We have Steve Lasker from uh, Data Trails with us today. He is one of the contributors to a very interesting IETF standard. This is the Supply Chain Integrity, Transparency, and Trust. And we're going to be looking at its importance across telecoms and in particular to VCOM. So, Steve, welcome to Tad Summit uh, Innovators. And please introduce yourself. Well, thanks, Alan. It's great to be here. Uh, so I've been uh, working in this space for a bit now. Um, and the supply chain space is an interesting one that spans multiple industries. I, I used to work in broadcast engineering many years ago. And then, uh, you know, bringing trucks and materials around is, you know, a, a problem. Yeah. And then you know, to be working in the software industry, I was at Microsoft for almost 20 years building developer tools and then uh, Azure services, such as the Azure Container Registry or the Microsoft Artifact Registry. Um, and then, you know, most, and as part of that, I was working on, well, how do we secure many of these workflows not just for our Azure customers, but Azure itself. Yeah. Uh, how does the Azure infrastructure, you know, stay secure and updated? And update is is an interesting one because getting latest is not always the best solution, as we've yeah. seen. Um, you know, the mo lo most latest CrowdStrike was get the latest signature file, and away you go. Should be fine. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> so uh, there's a balance there. Yeah. And uh, so most recently, I've been working on the skid effort, and you know, it's all about you know providing some identity yeah. to what statements are being made about a thing. And yeah. you know, in this case, we're talking about software. Uh, but it also could be what's the identity behind the message that's coming through? Yeah. You know, do I want to let it through? Do I, you know, is it spam? Is it not? Um, so that's that's kind of what I've been working on, and it's been a lot of fun working with a lot of great people and uh, and working at Data Trails on our immutable transparency services to support efforts like Skit. Great, excellent. So maybe you could give. I mean, because. Where I learned uh, about Skid, of course, is from uh, Thomas, uh, and he, of course, is the driving force behind VCon. So maybe you could give us a little bit of insight on the relevance of VCon and Skid. Yeah, so VCon is another great example of these, and you know we think of Skid as supporting any type of uh, payload or content type. In fact, yep. we say the the payload itself is opaque; we don't care. Yeah, and. You know, VCONS is an example of the type of information that needs to be distributed and shared. And yeah. there's uh, two elements to that. It's, well, first of all, what's the original VCON? You yeah. know, what's, what's the identity of it? Who created the VCON? Do I want to trust this VCON? Um, is it, does it have some set of authenticity behind, you know, do I trust any of the content in it? Are the voices who they say they are, for instance? Yep. Yeah. That's the first thing is I, you know, I find this piece of information happens to be a VCon. What trust do I put into it? But the other aspect is what do I learn after the initial event? Um, so with software, what I built on Monday, I, I, I built it and presumably I built it with the trust that everything I know is safe and secure and I release it. Yeah. On Wednesday, I find out the thing that shipped on Monday had a problem in it. They didn't know about it at the time, yep. Yep. so they shipped it in trust, but I want to get some updated information. With VCONs, it's very similar. So I ship a, a VCON on Monday, and then uh, you know the people that are on the call endorse it. They say, I'm fine with this being shared. Yep. Um, and then on Wednesday, I always do a Monday, Wednesday thing. Yeah. On Wednesday, they decide, you know what? I'm no longer comfortable for this being shared. Yeah. It might not even be I wasn't uncomfortable to begin with. It might just be I'm no longer working for that company. Exactly. I'm no longer interested in that product. Please stop sharing my information from that God. point forward. Yeah. So that's the interesting thing about with VCONs and Skit is Skit isn't just about associating an identity of a statement about a thing at creation. Mm -hmm. It's what's the new information about that particular, we call them artifacts. Yeah. What's the new information about that VCon that is published at a subsequent date? And gotcha. it, I, I like to call them amended and yeah. appended 
So uh, oh, they, they sound too much alike. So I, I got to come up with a better term. But appended is there's new information. Yeah, a speech to text. So you've got this yes. text file that's been created. You could add that in. So that would yep. be appended. And then your amended is back to that person does no longer want to be associated with that artifact. So you remove their information. I'm changing the value. What was true is now false. What was one is now two. Yeah. You know, and in a typical database or text log kind of format, the original information is lost, right? Yeah. I just see the latest value. With Skit, it's based on an immutable transparency service. So I have the history. I can't mm -hmm. change history. Yep. Yeah but I could amend history. Gotcha. And that's just the way we work as humans, yeah. right? Like, yeah. So, yeah. Interesting. So as a VCon goes through an enterprise, you can, uh, uh, you know, it, it's got the history. It's like a change log around, we did this, we then did emotion analysis, and we added this thing in. We finally got from Alan the original deck that he presented, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, the deck is, you know, it could be on the video, but you want to have the original decks, you have it in full high res. So he provided it in, so you can- Those are appended it. kind of information, yep. Gotcha, gotcha. And then, now this is where, you know, there could be transitions between companies. So I was on the call, it was, I'm a partner of the owner of that VCOM. Now, when that moves from the company and that created it, to my company, there's certain mm -hmm. information that cannot be uh, transferred. So it could be the lawyers have decided that you know we don't support emails or phone numbers where you get all the names and, and that's it. You know, uh, and you have to add them on yourself because we don't want basically uh, you know we yeah, don't want yeah, to trust yeah. anybody outside. How does Skip manage that in transitioning between different domains? Yeah, so that's another great one, and I, you know, I want to give all the credit to Thomas, who's just been brilliant about how he's been thinking about this. Um, the basically, you can record the intent at a point in time. So back to your example. So the another example might also be transcription. Mm -hmm. What was transcribed on Monday, you know, was automated yep. and bought and you know whatever. Yep. And it turns out that as you're reading, it was like, I was on that call. That's not what Alan said. And it turns out there was this transcription error. Yep. So I might want to go back and amend yep. that information. So that's you know cool. one thing. Yep. The scenario you were just talking about is the append information is it's sharing information. And it's actually establishing a, a, a contractual agreement that says other parties that consume that VCon have to continually check for updates every 48 hours, every yeah. week, whatever it is. Yeah. So if the original publisher says, I'm redacting this information, yes. it's yeah. VCon, then all of the subscribers to that information, gotcha. they're agreeing that they will check within every 48 hours for each VCon they've consumed, has anybody redacted any information? Gotcha. So what Skit does in this case is it gives the ability for the parties to communicate in a way that is um, recorded in history. The, yep. You know, it's, a, it's immutable, so you can't go change it. It's signed, it's timestamped, so that if the publisher said on Monday, I'll use the Monday, Wednesday again, yeah. on Monday, that, that information that Alan, Alan uh, participated in VCon ABC123 is no longer available. Gotcha. With by contract, um, Acme Telco, whatever, yeah. has to come back and check, and they will say, "Okay, I got the information. Yeah. I will stop using it." Gotcha. They have. They would write to Skit and say, "I got the information. I promise to redact it." Gotcha. We That's can't prove that they've done the work, yeah. but legally they've made a statement and, exactly. that says they got the message and they're doing that work. So now you've got you know that that contract between yep. the two. Exactly. So that's, that's where Skit yeah. you know, comes in, is it it holds parties accountable yeah. for the actions that they're taking. That's really interesting, because yeah, that's a very sensible way in terms of, uh, you know, I've got a, a copy of it, but 
a change could happen and it could be legal to decide, okay, we don't want to have any customer information discussed in any of our vcons because there's this case that's just happened with one of our competitors, we need to remove. And that comes out as a policy and all your partners, yep. they basically have to say, yes, we've done this. And then if it, they didn't, we'll help. Your legal department have to deal with that. Because there's, you know, and it's timely, right? Yeah. Like it might be, you know, Estrella does a lot of auto sales. Yeah. And it's consumers are looking to buy vehicles. Yeah. Eventually they're going to find a vehicle and they don't want to be called anymore. Like, you still want that pickup truck? It's like, yeah. no, I got one. Please yeah. stop calling me. So it's, it's not even like legally I screwed up. It's just the window yeah. has ended. Convenience. Exactly. So it's, yeah. you know, how do I cool. stop that kind of thing yeah. further? Well, yeah, the election is over. Stop sending me uh, <laughs> um, you know, reminders that I need to vote. Yes, the next yes. election comes up. It, exactly. There's always an election, whether it's local or uh, national, yeah. unfortunately. So that's really interesting. So what are some of the other use cases that you're uh, looking at for Skip? So Skip was chartered in ITF around software supply chain. So that's yeah. the core. Um, you know, the scope of software is pretty vast. Uh, it's hard to find much that doesn't have software associated with yeah. it uh, at times. So that that's a pretty large space. Uh, at Data Trails, we're uh, getting involved a lot more with responsible AI. If you yeah. think about, you know, how do you scale decisions in mass? Yeah. So I've got, um, you know, and we do this as humans, right? I, you know, I ask my friends, what's the best movie? You know, what's the best meal? What's the best stock? What's the best way to, you know, fix a deck or something like that? Yeah. And, you know, I I know my different friends for their expertise. I know that my friend Jill is, you know, gluten-free. So her recommendations are going to be tainted in that direction. Exactly. Tainted, you know, well, tainted yeah. is a word. It, and those are the kind of things that, you know, when you're trying to get any kind of information, what is the source and what is the the entities, the issuers, the identities rather, yeah. that are making those statements? And that can be done in a couple of ways. It could be on a very individual. Yeah. Right? I trust Alan for telco information. Yeah. Um, and that's, you know, that's it. Whether you want to tell me what the best meal is, I don't know whether to trust you. I don't know you well enough to know what kind of foods you like, right? Like exactly. but you're from the East Coast. So I maybe there's some other things that I might, you know, so we, we <laughs> build up knowledge exactly. about these issuers. So there's individual identities. Mm -hmm. But there's also mass identities that are put in things, right? Yeah. Like, you know, just because the internet says something is true or the AI says it's true, what is the bias of that source? Yes. It could be a red versus blue thing, right? yeah. which tribe do you associate with if you associate with a tribe? Or it could be a mass versus experts, right? There's yes. of mass people say, you know, get involved in the conspiracy theory, whether the world is flat, which is a fun one. Um, but the experts, there's fewer yeah. experts. Yeah. So you can't always trust quantity over quality. So you're always kind of you have a semblance, a semblance of who is making statements about these things. Yeah. So in the skit terminology, um, you have an artifact, you have a yeah. movie. Just call a movie as a unique identifier. We figure out what that movie is and and the year version of it versus the remake yes. of yeah, yeah. 18 versions of whatever the movie is. <laughs> so I know about the movie. Well, now I could ask, you know, a group who is making statements of quality about this Rotten Tomatoes or yep. what are the other, you know, various yep. services. Yep. Um, so I can look at statements from multiple issuers about a thing and then I can choose to filter in or filter out ah. which of those issuers I yep. trust to make statements. Yep. Um, so Skid is all about being able to associate an identity about a statement of for a thing. Yeah. Pretty much applies to anything from yeah. fruit to food to software to telecom yep. communications to yeah, whatever. To equipment, you name it. It's quite broad. <laughs> Yeah, and, and the hardware is an interesting one. We we originally originally wanted a charter for hardware as well, and we were kind of given a feedback like let's get software done first. Yeah. But hardware 
I view hardware as being um, one more dimension past. So if you think of you know software, um, every copy of that version of software is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Configuration can make a variance, but the yeah. actual binary that ships, they're all yeah. exactly the same, whether exactly. they're in Colorado and Florida, on the moon or on the earth, right? Mm -hmm. They're all exact same copies. Yeah. If I get a, a, a gas pump off mm -hmm. the physical assembly line, in addition to all the variances of the assembly line for the quality of the metal to the quality assembly, assuming the quality is exactly the same for two that come off right after each other, if one gets shipped to Florida mm -hmm. and one of those gas pumps gets shipped to Colorado, one's sitting in all kinds of heat capacity over time, one's sitting mm -hmm. in all kinds of cold capacity all over time at a different elevation, they're going to vary yeah. over time. So yeah. the difference with hardware is I have a serial number, an instance number of that exact exactly. version. Yep. And if I can track that, I can make statements about the product as a whole, the version, the one that's in Florida versus the one in Colorado, yeah. um, and, so, and so forth. So it's... That's it's interesting, interesting on yeah. how you can scale all of these things. Yeah, it's very powerful. This is really interesting. So um, you're going to be presenting at TAD Summit. So thank you so much yes. for that. Really looking forward to your uh, presentation. Um, is there anything else you'd just like to add, uh, you know, beyond what we've just covered here? I mean, it's great. I, I'm... Well, we we talked previously, and you know, I was immediately going, "Oh, well, you can use it for this, or this, or this," and you're like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> exactly, exactly." I mean, look, what was HTTP based on, right? I'm I'm not trying to make it as generic as that, but that's the beauty of things in ITF is how can you find some things that need interoperability across multiple domains, multiple companies, competing or non-competing companies so that yep. they can interoperate. Exactly. Um, and the telco industry happens to be based on interoperability amongst humans and countries and parties. So exactly, uh, it's exciting to, you know, thank you for the opportunity to speak and to talk with all the folks at the TAD Summit and uh, absolutely. Uh, looking I think forward to it. To all yeah, the, the community is going to learn a lot because I think this I can see applying in many different areas. Uh, because again, because it's an IATF standard, it just interoperability is guaranteed. That's, that's the bottom line. So again, Steve, thanks so much. Really looking forward to your uh, presentation at TAD Summit. And thanks again. Thank you.